everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Jax or Jax plays the sims and I'm so happy you're here today I'm happier than usual just because we were able to save the Paris save and I'm so happy that I get to bring you another current household with Kira as I do want to see and share what happens between her and Elijah and what happens while she's in Paris. So it's been a few days since we last saw her. She's a couple days into her term and she is missing Elijah so much. The distance and the FaceTime calls, it's not enough for a romantic soul like Kira and she's just waiting for him to visit her. She one cannot afford to go back to Windenburg at the moment and two is so focused on doing well in her program that she just can't make the trip back. So that's that relationship but she has made friends in university and I'm excited for you to meet them all. The plan for today is to have her go to campus because it's Friday and she has two classes today. I'll show you her schedule in a bit and we're gonna work out on campus and she has a nice break and then later this evening she's throwing a nice little dinner party so that she can continue to form bonds with the people that she's met thus far so let's just get right into gameplay all right so kira is currently working on a term paper for one of her classes she is taking three classes to start her first term and on monday wednesday friday she has a class at 9 30 a.m and at 1 30 p.m so during that little gap that she has we're gonna head to you bright commons and then tuesday thursday she has one class at 3 p.m so in terms of workload outside of class she only has to submit a term paper for one of her classes we don't have any projects or anything to complete she just has to make sure that she studies for her final exams so that is her class schedule she's made friends already so hopefully we bump into people when she goes to campus but since her first class is at 9 30 i'm gonna have her make herself some breakfast we're just gonna do the mixed berry oatmeal to start her day and then i'll have her kind of shower and get ready and we'll head to campus so guys i do have to say that things ended up working out for the best the apartment that i originally made for her was closer to campus but now she's staying in the town center so she has a nice view of the eiffel tower like she did when she was staying at the airbnb um, the only hard part is that every time she has class if i want her to be on time we have to head to campus or else you know she'll be late and stuff but it just worked out because i love this apartment so much more than the other one that i had originally intended to use for her i just feel like this one has more pops of like that orange and peachy color and i'm obsessed with it so i'm just so happy that it worked out this way but since we have class at 9 30 after her class i'm gonna have her go to the you bright commons and do a nice little workout there's a gym there so she's gonna put on like workout clothes and then she'll change into her actual outfit after her workout since she doesn't have time to do like a little jog this morning so i'm just gonna have her come to the bathroom to use the bathroom and take a nice quick shower we don't want her to feel dirty when she goes to campus but y'all this apartment just worked out so much better than the other one and i just love it for her i'm so happy um but while she does that let me show you where we actually are so if you guys remember in the first episode they were staying here and the downstairs is the jewelry store 
and I had decorated the upstairs into two apartments, but I completely switched it up to one, give her more space, and then just like match her aesthetic a little bit more. So yeah, I love how it turned out. I'm like so happy for her. So that's why we are not close to campus, which you know what? It's fine because let's put on a workout outfit. It's fine because she has a view of the Eiffel Tower. So it worked out in the end. If she were closer to campus, she wouldn't have this view. But Kira's class starts in an hour, which is perfect because she's ready. Let's put on that perfume that her boo got for her. And y'all, she has been endlessly flirty, like lingering flirtiness. Every day she's been flirty. And this romantic trait, y'all, it's... I don't know how she's gonna survive this long distance relationship. We shall see. But since she's ready, we are gonna go ahead and head to campus. So I'll see y'all once she's there. All right, so Kira's made it to campus. So I'm just gonna have her haggle and order some coffee before she heads to class, since we do have about 40 minutes. So she's gonna see if he gives her a little discount. And it looks like he said yes. So let's order the coffee. Oh, and one of her friends is here. I'm going to do formal introductions at the dinner party. But all right, go ahead and enjoy that before heading to class. Oh, we didn't see our friend. She was going to talk to her, but oh well. All right, beautiful. She's feeling great. She's feeling energized from that caffeine buzz, that refreshing scent, and from eating a tasty breakfast. But we're not gonna have time to catch up with her friend since she has to head to class. But I'm gonna let her go to class and we're gonna take notes and I'll see you once her first class is over. All right, so Kira got out of class and these are actually some of the other students that are also getting the same degree as she is. So we're gonna go ahead and say hi. This, oh, he's walking away. So she's made a few friends. So that's actually Kristoff and he would have been her neighbor had her apartment worked out but she's already become friends with nathan jacqueline christoph florence and tyra but we'll meet them later and i'm gonna have her head to you bright commons and we're gonna go to the gym after we finish talking to christoph All right, so I did find this lot on the gallery and I don't wanna spend a lot of time giving you a complete tour since I did redecorate it, but the top floors are just some like hangout areas and bathrooms. This floor on this side is like a little library and study area. Over here we have the bar and more study space slash an art room. Then on the first floor, we have kind of like the dining hall and another study area. Then in the basement, there's a pool, changing area and showers and our gym. So I'm gonna have Kira head down here and we're gonna get a nice little workout in. You know what? Kristoff actually has the same schedule as us, so we're gonna form a group with him and we'll have them go here together. That way, like, we're not completely working out on our own. All right, so I'm having them do the 30-minute power workout together since we really don't have that much time. And I'm gonna lock these doors because I don't want any ugly Sims talking to Kira, but they are getting a nice little workout in together before their next class, which is at 1.30. So we really don't have that much time. So we'll do the 30 minute power workout and 
they're just chatting. So it's nice that she didn't have to do this by herself. Love this. Oh, look at Elijah finally calling us today. So Elijah's just checking in. I know he says, it says that he's trying to ask her on a date, but I think he's delusional and keeps forgetting about the distance. We clearly cannot go on a date. I think he's what he's really doing is like, girl, when are you coming back to Winnenberg? That's what he's doing. Um, he's in denial about the distance. But it seems like she finished her little jog. So I'm just going to have her take a very quick shower since we do need to head to class. Then we'll just change into this little number. Cute. All right, perfect. All right, so we have 30 minutes to get to class. So I'm gonna have her head to her class and luckily it's the first building next to the commons. And this is also one of the other Sims that Kira knows, but she's making her way here. Luckily, we're not too far from the building where she has to go, but I will see you guys once she's out of her class. All right, so I had Kira come to campus and I'm going to have her do some homework with some of her classmates. So these are some of the other sims that she's met during her first week of university. And this is just like so cute. It's giving uni, it's giving let's do homework together, it's giving study group and I love it for her. So yeah, these are some of the sims she's met. And like I said, I'm gonna do more formal introductions at the dinner party. Then let's do the right expectations homework. I did get a default replacement by Vixen Pixels for the homework and it looks so cute. It's so much better than just that regular composition notebook. I really like it. But it looks like she's talking to Florence. Florence also would have been her neighbor had she not switched apartment buildings, but it's okay. We get to see them on campus. All right, so it's just about 4.20 and the dining hall doesn't start serving food till 5 p.m. So I think I'm going to have her grab a croissant, but then we have to head home to start prepping for the dinner party. Oh, cute. Oh, uncaring. So <laughs> the reason that these Sims are like upset are because they got the bad first impressions for Kira. And I think that's hilarious. Yeah. So she thinks that Kira's in dreamland. Actually, a lot of the Sims think she's in dreamland. And I just think that's because she's a creative Sim. But despite that, they've been able to become friends. So I'm just going to delete this because I feel like if we're friends, you thought I was in dreamland originally, but you got to know me. So I feel like the first impression shouldn't matter. So I'm having Kira come over and orders a chocolate croissant because I want her to have something to hold her over until the dinner party. And I'm thinking we'll have the dinner party at around 8 p.m. That'll give her enough time to make some dinner and prep some drinks and such, as well as you know, prep herself physically for the dinner party. Not people sleeping together. I need to change my Wicked Whim setting in this save because they're doing the most. This is not the first time that that has happened. Like, you don't even know him. Why are you sleeping with him? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to have her finish her croissant and I will see you all once she's back at her apartment. All right, so Kira's made it back home and we're getting straight to cooking and I'm going to have her make a meat and cheese platter and that's going to be the starter for everyone and then after she finishes that, we'll start making the main course for dinner, but 
I'm so excited for Kira to have like a really nice night with the friends that she's made. She deserves it. You know, she's been here for, you know, a few days and it's time to one, celebrate the fact that she got accepted into the honors program at the University of Paris and also celebrate the fact that she decided to embark on this journey. I'm so excited for her. So let's see what we're going to make for the meal. These are our options here. Okay, let's see what our options are over here. Ooh, we're going to make steaks. Let's do medium well. All right, so she's going to make steak for the dinner. That sounds delicious. All right, so I had to put the platter in the fridge so that she had space to make the steak. But steak sounds so delicious. So that's what she's making for the dinner. It's giving hostess, and I love it for her. She's in her hosting era. I mean, one in Paris, right? <laughs> But yes, I'm excited for her to have a really nice dinner party and to introduce you to all of her friends. We did see some of them on campus, but I want to give you formal introduction and tell you who she's also attracted to. <laughs> all right, and the last thing we're going to do is make some dessert. Let's see. All right, I think I'm gonna have her make the chocolate trifle. All right, and then we'll just keep all of that in the fridge while she goes to get ready. She doesn't have to shower since she showered after she worked out, but I'll make sure all of her needs are met and change her into her dinner party outfit because she has to dress to impress as per usual. All right, so all of the food is ready. All that's left is for her to buy some drinks and then we'll invite everyone over. Yeah, she is getting to the point where she's kind of hungry. Beautiful. All right, and we'll change into her party outfit for the dinner party stunning so i'm just having her freshen up and psych herself up in the mirror you know i don't know why i did this because it's gonna make her flirty but i'm here for the drama and there are people that she's attracted to that are coming to the party so why not right why not elijah's not here not that she's going to do anything, guys. <laughs> she's not going to do anything. But, you know, her and Elijah had that argument before he left. And they did kind of kiss and make up. But their relationship is still... It, it was definitely hurt by that. Um, they don't have that sentiment anymore where she's hurt by him. But they do still have bad compatibility. He hasn't made plans to come and visit her. So Kira just needs to see make some decisions and decide what she's gonna do all right i'm gonna go ahead and start the party and i'll catch up with you once everyone is here all right so i went ahead and started the dinner party so while everyone gets here i'm gonna have her come and buy some we'll do some chardonnay and I don't know if one bottle is enough, so we might buy two. Oh, look who's here. Kristoff is here. Girl, buy the second bottle of wine. I'm going to have her buy this, and then I need to make sure everyone's wearing the right outfit. All right, so it looks like people are starting to arrive, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to everyone who is here. All right, so here we have Florence Young. She was originally created by Farfalla Sims, but I just gave her a makeover to match my aesthetic a little bit, but her traits are geek, cheerful, and ambitious. This is Tyra Brown. She is creative, cheerful, and romantic. This is Autumn Dupont. 
She is a music lover, ambitious, and self-assured. Then we have Nathan O'Brien. He loves the outdoors, is cringe, and is family-oriented. This is Madeline Remington. She is a cat lover, a snob, and self-assured. Then we have Cameron Fletcher, who comes with Discover University. He is a genius, a goofball, and a geek. He goes to University of Paris's rival university, but we somehow bumped into him, and so he made it to the dinner party. This is Jacqueline Laurent. She is self-absorbed, creative, and a bookworm. And finally, we have Christophe Laurent. This is Jacqueline's brother, and we met him earlier, so he's also getting a language and literature degree, so his traits are foodie, creative, and bookworm. All right, so I'm having Kira call everyone to grab a meal. Let's see if she does it. Yeah, so she's calling everyone to grab a cheese play or a meat platter, whatever they want. She already grabbed a cheese platter, so I'm gonna have her enjoy that. But as you can see, we have a full house. And like I said earlier, everyone's wearing all black. They look so good. But yeah, everyone's here. Everyone looks so good. And I did mention how she's attracted to some of these Sims. So let me tell you exactly who she's attracted to. So of course, she's very attracted to Kristoff. She finds him extremely attractive. And they also, last time I checked, they had amazing compatibility, but I guess maybe we don't know him well enough to fully determine that. And then I think she also finds Cameron extremely attractive, but she got a bad first impression about him so eh, you know i think she has more in common with christoph given that he's creative and then the last person she's also attracted to i think is madeline and nathan let me make sure yeah she finds nathan extremely attractive but they don't have compatibility she's also attracted to madeline because it doesn't say it on her profile, but one of the times that we interacted with her, she got the little like attractiveness alert um, and a buff that said, but, but, but from talking to someone attractive. So yes, she isn't attracted to quite a few people that are here, but she's happy because she's surrounded by a liked sim and I'm pretty sure that is Kristoff. I mean, look at them coming. Are they gonna hug? Y'all. I don't know. This could did that girl just fart? Oh my god. Uh, not Madeline. That already unattractive. Yes, ill. That's gross. Madeline, that's disgusting. That is so gross. Oh my god. I'm in shock that she just did that. But whatever. We're just gonna go ahead. She likes retro music, sure. We're gonna grab a drink together and I'm gonna help her clean up. So everyone grabs a drink and then I'll clean up while they do that. Okay, but we're just chatting it up with Kristoff from across the room. They're talking about fine cuisine, which makes sense because he's a foodie um, and I love that for her, but she's talking to Tyra and Kristoff Kristoff didn't grab a drink, sadly, but it's fine. But yes, this is everyone. It's giving very adult style dinner party. It's giving really like classy. I love it for them. But you can see she's kind of gotten really close to a lot of the people at her university and I just love it for her. But I think we should, I don't know if I want to continue to get to know Madeline. She just like farted out of nowhere. <laughs> Maybe we'll compliment Florence. We do like her sense of style. Oh, she just became good friends with Kristoff. That's cute. She said, wow, thank you. I really make an effort to look my best. We can tell girl, your fit is stunning. Oh, what are they watching on TV? What channel is this? We're gonna turn this off and I guess music is playing. 
But I do want them all to... Not them turning on the TV. Y'all are annoying. There's music playing. How can you watch TV and listen to music at the same time? I don't understand. Whatever. Let's continue to get... Not what if we were together. Let's get to know Tyra a little bit more. She's saying hi to Jacqueline. And y'all, I'm not going to lie. I really want her to get to know um, Christoph. Where's Christoph going? So I want her to sit with him. <laughs> We're just going to go and talk to him right here. I don't know, y'all. There's just something about him that gives their really compatible. So we're going to just ask about his day. It looks like everyone enjoyed their wine. Um, she learned that Tia Tyra is... I keep wanting to say Tira because Kira. I should have named her something else. But yeah, she learned that Tyra is creative. All right, so I put out the steak and we're gonna go ahead and call everyone to the meal since everyone's had like something to drink, they've had an appetizer and we are gonna just start thanking people for coming and we're gonna talk about the meal just cause I don't want this party to get rated boring. So yeah, we're gonna thank them for coming, but that food looks really good. I'm impressed by Kira's cooking skills. All right, we're also gonna thank Kristoff for coming. As you guys can tell, I'm in love with Kristoff, but you know, I'm not gonna force anything. They naturally have become friends, and you're a bro? No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. None of these Sims are bros. You're not a bro. I have never gotten that as a personality change definitely not one of the bros <laughs> um but i am biased i'm not gonna force anything between her and Kristoff. i will just have her get to know him um i don't want her to do anything that she'll later regret but i don't know there's just something off about elijah so we'll see how this kind of long distance relationship continues to either flourish or i don't know head into its demise is that the right thing to say oh no she got her period i need to take care of that all right so i'm gonna have her finish her meal and then she's gonna go ahead and use a tampon in the bathroom i didn't know she was even getting her period my bad kira but it seems like the dinner party is going really well. I do want them all. She like provided them with a three course meal. They're all going to be stuffed when they leave here. But it's going so well. This is so cute. I love it. Maybe we'll do a little dancing later. Look at her. She's the only one who cleans up because why did Cameron just put this on the floor? How disrespectful. We're gonna try the white wine. Everyone's gonna grab a drink together. Not him being first. Love that for him. And then I think we should all like dance together. I feel like that'll be fun. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Y'all can tell I'm so shipping them. I really am. I really am. They're sitting together. <laughs> Not me shipping her, and she's in a whole relationship. But it's, it's toxic, guys. It's toxic. <laughs> oh, man. It's just... There's just something about their compatibility, you know? They have a lot in common. Also, I don't think I mentioned this in the last episode, but... Oh, they gained a sentiment! You know what? It's been wonderful spending time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make more. I'm sure of it. So growing closer from quality time. Love that for you. Love that. But I don't think I mentioned this the last episode. Elijah actually doesn't find Kira like extremely attractive. He just finds her attractive. So I don't know. I feel like if I'm dating someone, I would want them to find me extremely attractive. 
So it doesn't seem like they're able to dance. There's not enough space, apparently, which is fine. Then she can just finish her drink. And look at Kristoff cleaning up. He said, don't leave Kira's house a mess, y'all. That's very respectful. I love that. That's attractive. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. Not it being 4.30 already. Girl, you just went to the bathroom. I'm crying. But she's taking her wine to the bathroom with her. Cool. All right. I think I am going to end this party soon. I think I have the dessert in her inventory. So maybe I'll have everyone grab some dessert and then that'll be it. We don't want any food to go to waste, so we'll just have her call everyone to the meal. All right, so it seems like everyone is finished with their desserts. So I think the party was a success. Let's find out. Oh, nope, it, it wasn't. Cool. But we are going to go ahead and I'm going to have her clean up. Everyone's heading out, so it's time for her to clean her house because it's a it's a hot mess <laughs> y'all did you see how she was looking at him why is he sticking around guys why is he sticking around okay he's leaving <laughs> all right bye y'all she said i need to eat every last bite of this dessert all right that was so fun it was a very chill party, nothing crazy happened, so it was fun. Our girl is just cleaning up the mess of hosting a dinner party. She had a really fun time. All right, but our girl is exhausted, so oh no, uh, I don't have time for this. She's just gonna replace it and go ahead and mop that mess up because why would the sink break after a party it's seven in the morning like she's trying to go to bed all right but i'm gonna have her change into her pajamas and we're just gonna head straight to bed it's literally 7 a.m like i can't believe that lasted all night and then i'm gonna have her go to sleep all right y'all so i think when she wakes up it'll be early afternoon potentially and I think I'll have her head to the cafe with Kristoff. So I'll see y'all once she's awake. All right, so Kira just woke up and I'm having her just take a nice little bath to start her Saturday morning off right. She slept in and she's feeling well rested after you know a really long night but a long night well spent with her new friends so after she takes a bath i think i'm gonna buy her chill pills because she's feeling irritated and if we're gonna go socialize today i don't want her to become angry so yeah and also before we head out we're gonna meet up with Kristoff at the cafe because it does brunch on saturday and sunday mornings so we're gonna meet up with him for brunch and kind of to do some work as well but before we do that we're gonna call elijah just to catch up with him and do a nice little video call all right so she is dressed and ready to go so let's do a nice little video call with Elijah and hopefully he answers because oh he did he's been kind of inconsistent with answering the phone and Kira's kind of wondering why he's been so inconsistent with his phone calls since you know they don't get to spend as much time together as they used to so she's just wondering why he hasn't you know made himself as available to talk on the phone with her but they were able to catch up and she just let him know her plans for the day and that she threw like a little dinner party last night so everything's going well for her all right so i'm gonna have her take a chill pill and also just apply some perfume i love how the chill pill immediately <laughs> makes her 
like irritated mood go away, but we're gonna head to the restaurant and I'll see you once she's there. All right, so they've made it to the restaurant and as you can see, I decided against just having Kira come with Kristoff, but I ended up also inviting Jacqueline and Autumn and I did this because I feel like I don't want to rush anything like I said and I just think that if I only had her and Kristoff come then I think I'd be maybe forcing it so it's gonna be like a friend brunch date okay so I'm gonna have her get a macchiato and so is Jacqueline and then I'll have the other two get the cappuccino. We'll do French toast for these two. And then we'll have the, the spinach frittata. Beautiful. But yes, this way it's less... We're not forcing anything. And we're just letting her continue to deepen friendships with everyone else. But this is the... Cafe de Rue and it is a cafe during the week but on weekends they have brunch. Kira did tell everyone to you know bring some homework but I don't know if they did and I, I feel like it might be kind of rude to have them have her pull out her computer although I did want her to get some work done so damn girl why are you so angry it's not my fault you're you know, working today instead of doing what we're doing <laughs> and having brunch. But I want to ask about her degree because Kira's feeling a bit high maintenance. Her problems should be everyone's problem. No, you don't even have a problem. Girl, why are you doing sit-ups or push-ups? <laughs> Just sit down. All right, so it turns out Autumn is majoring in drama love that i can definitely see that she gives artsy let's find out what jacqueline's degree is ask about y'all need to stop with the push-ups cut it out cut it out all right i understand you're feeling energized but there's no need for you to drop down and give like 20 push-ups all right so kira learned that jacqueline is a communications major cool that's really cool and we know that he is studying language and literature so they basically have the exact same schedule which is why they definitely spend a lot more time together than seriously this is why you can't be angry because you dropped our mood our food hopefully they bring us out our food soon I think it was that girl's first day or she's just upset that she's working on a Saturday and she would much rather be in our situation, but it's fine. Oh, they're talking shit. She's like probably gossiping about other people in her class. All right, so our food is finally here at 6 p.m., LOL. Not them gaining another sentiment. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel the same way too okay interesting so they have two sentiments and she doesn't have any with the girls i don't think she's friends with autumn yet so we're definitely going to continue getting to know her and talking to her because i would like her to be friends with autumn autumn please don't don't sit down i cannot this like the sims doing push-ups is so irritating to me Please grab a seat, Autumn. Thank you. Enjoy your food. All right, but yeah, I do want her to become friends with her because I do think they'd get along. So we're just gonna keep interacting with her. All right, this has been really cute. They finally, almost all of them, finished their meals and we are gonna head home soon even though Kira's not quite yet friends with Autumn but you know we won't rush it I know they'll eventually become friends but we're gonna head home soon because I do want her to continue working on that paper that she started this morning we're just gonna continue you know having conversations but it doesn't look like 
Ada wants to finish her food. I was waiting to see if she would finish her food, but it doesn't look like she is. So we're gonna go ahead and just end and pay for the meal. Kristoff is a bookworm, amazing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and, oh, she's still talking to Autumn. Complaining about the cloudy weather, I would complain to. Oh, girl. Why are you asking about his exes? I'm pretty sure that's like a, it's not a flirty interaction, but I think it's under the romance category. Why are you curious about that, Kira? Very interesting. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and head home because I do want Kira to work on that paper. So Kira's made it back home. She put on a face mask and started working on her term paper. And as you saw in that little clip, Elijah's been up to something back in Windenburg. And it makes me wonder if there's a specific reason or a particular person that's making him be inconsistent when it comes to calling Kira. But that's it for today's current household video. The next time we see Kira, I think we're gonna do a flash forward and it'll be a few months later. So be on the lookout for the next update. I'll see you then. Bye.